Welcome to the Newsmakers Podcast. I'm Billy Hollowell, and this is a show where we go behind the headlines every day to bring you an interview with a pastor, entertainer, politician, or other notable news figure. And this is a show, again, it's daily, but it's based on our weekly TV show, which is also called Newsmakers. You can watch it on the CBN News Channel and also on our YouTube page. And on this show, every day, we dive deep. It's a little more longer form with one of the people who you will often see on our Newsmakers show or across the CBN News platforms. On today's Newsmakers, we're talking with the CEO of a Christian video game company called TruePlay. He's creating games that are safe for the whole family. With no further ado, here is Brent Dusing. You are the CEO of TruePlay, a Christian gaming platform. What can you tell us about the company? You know, it's been awesome. We just released TruePlay two weeks ago, and we've had such a great response from parents and families all over the country. What TruePlay is, is a subscription platform. It's an entertainment platform for you and your family with dozens and dozens and dozens of hours of content. Video games, high quality games, digital comics, cartoons. Everything we do is done with excellence and fun, but everything we do also contains God's truth. That's incredible. And you've been you've been in this game for a long time, you know, pun intended here, making games and helping, you know, really usher along truth to kids. You've been working on this um, for a while. You said you obviously just launched with True Play here. What for you is the definition of success for this? Because this is a this is a different animal from a lot of the other, you know, platforms that are out there right now in the entertainment space. It is very different. You know, we we started this because we're so concerned about what's going on with kids. And, you know, Billy, I know you you know this, but I'm not sure everybody, I think most parents realize it's bad for kids. I don't think they know how bad. 31% of kids in America believe in God, only 31%, compared to 62% of people 40 years old and older. And you say, wow, why is that? How did we get here? It's very simple. 52 and a half hours is the average amount of time a child spends on a screen. They're only at church 30 minutes a week. Now, for the first time in our lifetimes, less than half of Americans go to church. So we really are facing a crisis with children. Anxiety, suicide, depression rates are all-time all highs. Pornography exposure, all-time highs for kids. All types of toxic content thrust on kids. And you, were, you know, parents are looking for what can they trust. We're bringing something to the market that we just, just released, True Play, that not only can parents trust, but it is gonna, it's going to emphasize your values. It's going to bring God's truth to your children, but they're going to really enjoy it. Not feel like he's getting forced on them, but feel like it's something that's fun and engaging. They're going to want to keep coming back to again and again. So when somebody logs into True Play, when they become members, when they log in, what what do they see? What types of games they see? What is the content like? Because I think that's going to be the main question people have. You know, what am I what am I seeing once I get in there? Yeah. So there's there's all there's dozens of options. There's um, games that are very high quality mobile games, like you might. Uh, play on your device today. So there's there's platformers, there's puzzle games, there's action adventure games, um, there's word puzzle games, and some of our games are based on the Bible. We have a game called Stained Glass, where you collect glass pieces. They form a stained glass window. The window comes to life, and the Bible comes to life. A character from the Bible tells you their story. We have another game called King David's Battles, which is coming out shortly. Um, obviously about King David. And then a lot of our content you see on my T-shirt and a lot of our characters on the True Play website are these animal characters, Maple and Lucas and Benjamin and Oliver. They're characters who live in a world where God is real, the Bible's true, but they go they look kind of ridiculous, but they go on these fantastical adventures. They have their own personalities. Some, by the way, believe in God and others are learning about who he is, but they go on these grandiose adventures in their games. True Play also contains comics that we make. We also partner with the Action Bible. We have other partners we're in discussions with who are bringing their content on shortly. There's also video content. So it's really a whole kind of a platform for all types of entertainment options uh, for kids and families, everything that contains God's truth that we do. Yeah, and you raised such an interesting point at the top about entertainment and the content that kids are taking in. You know, we've seen a lot of development in the movie space, the TV space, the video space, right? We have not seen as much in the video game space. And so it's really interesting that you are all in on this. You guys are doing this. You know, video games are incredibly powerful and incredibly Im important. They have a major impact. And, and look, there's a lot of research on this, right? The negative impact of video games. And here, you're creating something that can have a positive impact. Where do you see True Play in five years? 
You know, our goal is to reach millions and millions of children and families all across the world. We're starting now in the U.S., and the, the response has been awesome. When you look at the usage rates, we've got a 4.9 out of 5 average on Apple uh, App Store, and we're just beginning. And we see you know, we're going to have more games, we're going to have more entertainment experiences, um, more video content, cartoons, uh, deeper games, games that are um, you know, immer you know, more and more immersive games. So we're going to, we're adding new content all the time. As a matter of fact, we're just now releasing an update to it that includes a brand new game. So there's always new things, new comics, new games coming in five years. We'd like to see millions of people using this and not just using true play, but we want to see a generation change. You know, Billy, if 31% of children in America believe in God, it's no surprise that anxiety, suicide, and depression rates are all time highs, right? It's no surprising there's so much toxicity on children because they're not being shown God's truth. Well, what if it went from 30 to 40 to 50 to over half of kids believed in God? It would change the country. It probably would change the world. Yeah, and that's the thing right now, right? We have this crisis of worldview. Worldview is not being instilled in kids, and yet here you have this tool. You know, Kids are playing video games every day where they can have fun while they're learning about God, while they're learning about truth, while values are being instilled on them. That's an intensely important thing. I know a lot of parents want that for their kids and they don't really know where to go to get it. And so here you guys here, you're doing this and it's pretty you know, incredible to see that. For you, when you look at the landscape, the entertainment landscape, what content wise right now in the video game sector, especially most concerns you? I'm really concerned about th there's way too much sexual content for kids. There's way too much you know, hyper-violent stuff. I, we, look, there, there's games where there's going to be action, adventure, and fighting bad guys. That's fine. But the, the, the gruesome violence and the kind of dehumanization of people. And then the third one is kind of the glamorization of drugs. You know, and, and there's so much evidence about how much brain damage drug, drugs cause and how younger and younger people are getting involved in drugs at younger ages, how many deaths are involved with drug use. And yet the glamorization of such in many video games um, all those things concern me. The, the spiritual darkness as well. There's a lot of games that are very, you know, kind of demonic or spiritually dark. So we are pretty concerned. Frankly, at, at True Play, a lot of people here are parents. Now, I'm blessed to have a world-class team of people who have made, they've been at some of the top gaming and tech companies that made a lot of games you've probably played. But most of us are parents and we're concerned. And instead of just complaining, we decided to start a company to do something about it that, um, hopefully brings change and, and options to parents. Because I think, you know, too often in the past, a parent had a choice. Here's something that my kid enjoys. Here's something that I can actually trust with the values, but the, the quality wasn't there. It was well-intentioned kids' content, but the quality bar didn't match the secular options that they had. What we've brought, you know, just in the last few weeks at True Play is the merging of excellence and beauty, but also something that's going to bring the truth of Jesus Christ and that's going to uh, bring the foundation of biblical values, and really, at the end of the day, how much God loves them, which is a message anybody needs to hear. Yeah, and, and what age range are you aiming to hit? Because that's another key question I think parents will have as they look at this. It's really funny. So our, our strike zone is, we, we really say we're a family entertainment, and here's what I mean. We, when you look at the ages of kids who enjoy it, it's about 5 to 13 years old. However, you know, we've been building True Play since 2020, and we do a lot of testing. You know, the real the way you make great content is you test and you test with children, and then you fix it, and then you test again, and you see what you got right and what you need to still fix, and you keep going iterating. So many times when we tested, we had parents say, Hey, um, can I play? Can I do a test too? Do, do you mind? Can I play? We had we built previous games, and you and I spoke about that years and years ago, Journey of Moses, Journey of Jesus, Stained Glass, where the majority of our audience were actually adults. And in fact, we've taken those games. Stained Glass is already in the True Play platform. It's one of our best, still one of our best performing games. Journey of Jesus was our most popular Christian game that was ever made. Um, we're actually revamping that. We're making that 3D. That'll be in the platform. Uh, we expect to have that out next year. Uh, people ask us about that all the time. And so if you're a, you were a Journey of Jesus fan, we're working hard on it. We, we hope to have that for you next year. So a lot of the audience is actually adults. Just like if you think about your favorite animated movies as a parent, you watched with your kids, you actually might've enjoyed it too. And that's the way we try to deliver in terms of storytelling, in terms of gameplay and action and, and quality.
Well, that is absolutely incredible. And I'm, I'm really excited to see where this goes. You know, I've, I've worked at PureFlix for a number of years, and I've been in the entertainment space kind of looking and, and examining and watching that unfold. And I've really been anxious to watch more of the video game sector emerge. I was telling you offline before, you know, my kids, they always want to be on Roblox. They want to play these yeah. games. They're desperate to do that because they want to have fun, right? Yeah. Um, but there are concerns with all of these games. One of the stats that I know uh, recently came out is that, you know, kids, this is from Cyber Safe Kids, that, you know, a good proportion of kids are being reached out to by strangers. They're befriending strangers. You have yeah. these communications going on in these, in these apps that are deeply concerning. And so you're providing a safe place for kids and families, and that's invaluable. It's it's absolutely incredible. I appreciate what you guys are doing. Well, thank you. I mean, we we talk to parents all the time, and we're we try to, as True Play to come alongside parents. I think too often media companies produce toxic content, and then when parents object, they blame the parents. It's like, no, no, no. If you put poison in the water supply, it's not the parents' fault. Their kids drank the water. They paid the water bill. The water should be clean, right? It's the fault of the person who poisoned the water, right? We're coming alongside parents to say, hey, look, we want you to love it. We want you to trust it. And we're just as concerned as, as everybody. We're parents about this, the, the, pred the predatory behavior that happens. And I will say there are some of the games you mentioned have had many issues with online chatting, kids being preyed upon, some of the stuff that's come out about some of the recent you know, abuse of kids or some of the pedophilia stuff can start in those chat rooms. At True Play, there's no ads. So you're not going to have to worry about seeing something inappropriate for your child. There's no in-app purchases, so they're not, your kid's not going to hustle you for an extra you know, $2.99 to buy gems. And there's no chat rooms. You don't have to worry about strangers chatting because there's, there's not an option. So we really, again, being parents, we started with that in mind to try to deliver the best experience. And that's why we're working hard all the time. We have an, the, Isabella, the Isabella game just came out. We have a Benjamin game coming out next month. King David's Battles comes out in the fall. We're, we're cranking all the time to have more and more awesome stuff to keep delivering for our customers, for our subscribers. Well, Brian, I so appreciate your time. It's good to connect with you. It's been more than a decade since we first got to talk about the games that you were creating back then, and I'm excited to see what you guys do next at True Play. Well, Billy, thank you so much for your time, and I just thank you so much for everybody who's listening. You know, at, at True Play, we the more people join the movement, the more people, you know, subscribe and tell your friends and even buy a t-shirt. We have a bunch of t-shirts we just released. The more you can see a whole generation of children change when they see God's truth at their fingertips. And that's what we're going to have to do and all band together in the movement to see the best outcome for our children. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Billy. That's all for today's Newsmakers podcast. Be sure to tune in for the next episode of the show and also head over to the CBN News YouTube channel and the CBN News channel to watch Newsmakers every week. We'll see you soon.